Hello guys, um, I know this video is coming out late and I apologise for that, but um, I've only made one Yu-Gi-Oh video so far, so uh, and I want to make more Yu-Gi-Oh videos, so here's another one. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the card Ordeal of a Traveller. Um, I'm not sure if you can capture what the description says, but I'll read out to you anyway. Um, you can activate this card's effect when your opponent declares an attack. Your opponent selects one random card in your hand and calls the type of the card, monster, spell or trap. If your opponent calls it wrong, the attacking monster is returned to the owner's hand. Um, yeah, so I think that's actually a pretty awesome card. I use at least one or two of it in every one of my decks because it's good for stalling. Even if it's not a stall deck, it's just good to bounce back your opponent's cards. Um, I'll use it over um, compulsory uh, evacuation device but that's just my personal opinion um, and it's just short print common um, yeah uh, from the set Ferroric Gu uh, Guardian um, but you can also get it in structured decks Lord of the Storm and another one which I've forgotten or oh, um, not Lord of the Storm uh, Invisible Fortress uh, which is the one with the uh, rock type monsters um, card rulings for these cards uh, for this card is um, the effect does not target another card um, you cannot activate the effect if you have no cards in your hand which is pretty obvious because your opponent can't guess what card you have in your hand um, if it is it works um, like compulsory evacuation device and it bounces back cards to its hand um, if it's a synchro monster or XYZ card or fusion they, they will be sent back to um, the extra deck instead of the, your opponent's hand and that means they'll have to re-summon it if they want it back on the field uh, which is even more better as it's hard to synchro summon and XYZ summon the same card twice um, and it'll give you some time. Um, if a crypt shot is used um, to move the game forward into damage calculation, a mirror force or Sakuretsu, Sakuretsu armor um, cannot be activated in response to the attack, um, which is understandable because it's the end of the uh, like the opponent hasn't declared the attack anymore. It's over. Um, apparently, these are previous uh, official rulings. Uh, I still play by these rules um, yeah but you can activate it at each time your opponent attacks so if your opponent has 5 cards on the field you can activate it 5 times if they attack 5 times your opponent um, you must show the card your uh, your opponent selects to guess so pretend if I have monster spell or trap uh, the spell is my middle card the opponent guesses this, my middle card is a monster card I still have to show them as proof and even if they guess it right I still have to show them the card um, this is the reason why some people don't like this card as you're revealing your hand to your opponent but I can live with that um, probably from the start of the duel my strategies are given so it's not really hindering me that much um, well as much as it will in some other decks people use but what's in my hand is no secret in some of the decks I use this card in so it's fine um, if your opponent calls it right, the attack resolves normally, so if they guess it correctly, then you're kind of screwed because they know what cards you have in your hand and they get the attack through. Um, when or deal of the Traveller and Fairy Box are both active, Fairy Box is mandatory because um, it doesn't give you the option to activate or not, um, as this card says you can activate it, but you don't have to. Uh, and it's a continuous which stays on the field for ages um, when you when you activate Ordeal of the Traveller effect as a chain to magical cylinder uh, since Ordeal of the Traveller resolves first if your opponent guesses incorrectly the attack does not resolve and the effect of magical magic cylinder disappears um, and if you have multiple copies of Ordeal of the Traveller uh, if your opponent guesses it right you have to guess again um, this is why I use two in majority of all my decks. As if I have two on the field, I am owning. If I have three, even 
that is even better because my opponent has to guess three times if I have like five cards in my hand which are different types it's gonna be hard like on dueling network whenever I use this strategy or combo people they don't attack me because they're scared of you losing their synchros and Z's and they try to stall and wait until they get MST or Dust Tornado or Heavy Storm even but um, it's pretty good uh, to get ready to clear the field but um, that's all I really got to say for this card uh, I pretty much explained what it does um, I do recommend it I don't know why it doesn't see much play in compare competitive decks I think mostly because your opponent will know your hand and you don't know their hand if they guess it correctly and a lot of decks they use up cards in the hand a lot except for burn decks or exodia decks but that's all banned um yeah so you kind of use up cards in your hand so you only have a couple and if they guess it right one time then they might continually guess it right but yeah um but that's all for this video guys please comment rate and subscribe subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos if you're a fan of pokemon i'm um keeping coverage of the news of pokemon black and white version 2 uh that's all for good nice uh, that's all for now guys so bye